Welcome to the introduction to the ESC 1000 Earth Science or the GOY 1000 Geology online classes taught at Palm Beach State College. I am Professor Rachel Benkin. I'm an adjunct professor here at Palm Beach State College. I'm also a PhD candidate at Florida Atlantic University. I'm in their Geosciences Department studying hydrology and geographic information systems. My email address is benkenr at palmbeachstate.edu. This course is a 100% online class, which means all your materials except for your textbook are online. We use Blackboard to deliver the course content. So you go to the Palm Beach State homepage. At the top of the page, you would click on eLearning, and then you'll have on the left of the next page a link to log into Blackboard. That's how you get into the class using your Panther Web username and password. Also on this page are links to other student resources and tutorials. The syllabus is located on my faculty uh, webpage at this crazy link, uh, but you can easily get to this link by going to the Palm Beach State homepage and using the People Finder search and search on my last name, and that will get you here pretty quickly. There's also a link to the syllabus within Blackboard. Also on Blackboard is a link to the class schedule. The class schedule is probably one of the most important documents in the course, next to the syllabus, of course, and it's under the class handouts link. It has a listing of all the readings, assignments, quizzes, exams, uh, with, with their due dates. On Blackboard, the work is divided up into eight units. And in a regular semester-long course, those units take about two weeks each to complete. In a 12-week course, well, maybe about nine days apart are the due dates. And in the summer, often we teach, I teach that class in six-week segments where we do two, two of those weeks, we do a little more than one unit in the week, and the other weeks, uh, we do one unit a week. As part of those assignments, we do discussion reports, which involve a little bit of internet research and some current events. You also have readings to do in your textbook. You also will take quizzes, and then there also are some labs to help reinforce the material. Many of these are, are not very complicated labs, so please don't overthink them, and hopefully you'll, you'll have fun with them. Okay, those discussion reports I mentioned, you're going to be posting in a discussion board uh, based on a prompt or, or a question or a series of a couple of choices, of choice topics. You do your research and find about three different sources or more. And then you write a fairly short essay, about 375 to 450 words. It's worth about 0 to 12 points. Uh, then, you, um, then you also need to add in your citations. So basically in MLA uh, format, uh, you want to cite those, those web articles. And I'll be posting a, a helpful guide to help you get that formatting, formatting right. And that's worth up to about 4 points. And then you need to comment after you make place your post, you need to comment on two other students' posts, about 75 to 100 words, in a way that contributes to the conversation, not just saying, oh, way to go, that's a great post, or that's really interesting. You want to write a little more than that, and that's why it's 75 to 100 words. Also, in your primary post, you may use pictures or charts from the sources that, that uh, you read for your writing, and you need to format them in the post so they show up visibly in, in the post in line with the text and definitely put a caption with the source of where you got that picture. Also on Blackboard, you'll have unit lecture videos. So those are full-length lectures. We'll be talking over PowerPoints. Also the PowerPoints in PDF format. Additional video content. Uh, many of that video content may be short YouTube videos or uh, links to maybe some online arch archival videos that, that the Media Center at Palm Beach State uh, serves up through the internet. Uh, the two class handouts are really the syllabus and the class schedule. Through the bulletin board, you can communicate with your classmates and, and or me. There's kind of like a virtual uh, office where you can post questions that any student can answer if they have the answer. That might get you an answer sometimes quicker than I can give you an answer. If it's just something a fellow student can answer. Um, you also can check your grades. And also, I'll be posting announcements. Okay, rules and expectations. Attendance is mandatory. Uh, this is captured when you log in, so please log in throughout the semester and submit assignments. Respect, respectful online etiquette 
etiquette in all online interactions, such as the discussion boards and actually the and current event boards, really the discussion reports, and in any course email, any communications you do with other students or with me, it needs to be um, you need to use respectful online etiquette. All assignments need to be turned in on time. With the long window provided to take your midterm and final exam, typically about a week. With some of the shorter semesters, you may only have four or five days. Um, but because that long window, there are no makeup exams allowed. So if there's any serious, serious uh, medical issues or, or things of that nature, you need to communicate with me well before the exam in order to uh, come up with alternative arrangement. Once the exam is due dates passed, there are no makeups. When in doubt, email me and ask. So communication, use the Blackboard course mail or your Palm Beach State email. And when you email me, only from your Palm Beach State email, because due to FERPA laws, which protect your privacy as a student, I can only interact with your school email, because it's the only way I know that's you I'm communicating with. You can communicate with me through your Gmail or your Yahoo mail, or whatnot, it might not be you. It, it might be a parent or a sibling or, or, or a significant other who, who may be trying to get information about how you're doing the course or, or whatnot. And I'm not allowed to communicate with them. I'm only allowed to communicate with you. My email address again is benkenr at palmbeachstate.edu. Uh, email is faster than course mail because it actually gets forwarded to my phone. I can't really reply to those emails really quick, but at least I know if I need to get to a computer quick to reply to your email. Course mail, I actually have to log into Blackboard, and I'm not sure that I'm actually getting notifications through email every time I get a course mail. So that's to think like once a day I might see course mail. Uh, during the midterm and final exam, I'll provide my cell number for urgent questions via text messages only. Mostly, that's if Blackboard crashes on you and you get blocked out of the exam. If you send me a text message, as quickly as I can, I can get to a computer and see if I can resolve the issue. Okay, how you'll be graded. You have two exams, a midterm and a final. Each uh, so together is worth 50% of, of the course grade. There are eight online quizzes worth 12.5% of your grade. Eight discussion report posts. Uh, including the respons responses or comments of other students is worth 25%, and eight labs, which are worth 12.5%. In our grading schedule, 89.5% uh, to 100 is an A, 79.5 to 89.4% is a B, 69.5 to 79.4% is a C, 59.5 to 69.4% is a D, and under 59.5% is, is a fail, failing grade. So remember, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you.